Good morning. We will pay attention to the periodic inventory system today. Only entries in connection with inventory, that means when inventory increases or decreases, and cost of sales is affected when the two different inventory systems are used. Because in the perpetual inventory system, you record the movement of inventory during the year. In the periodic inventory system, you don't write in your inventory account during the financial year. In the per perpetual system, you will record cost of sales every time goods are sold or debtors return goods. In the periodic inventory system, you don't have a cost of sales account. So all the other entries are completed in exactly the same way, irrespective if the periodic or perpetual inventory system is used. It is only inventory and cost of sales that will be affected by using the perpetual system or the periodic system. When the periodic inventory system is used, no record of inventory on hand is maintained during the year. The only way that they can determine how much inventory they have on hand is doing an inventory count. So even if the business wants to know in the middle of the year how much inventory is available, they will have to do an inventory count because they don't use the inventory account where they can just balance the inventory account to determine how much the inventory should be. All acquisitions of inventory are recorded in the purchases account. So in the perpetual system, you record inventory when you buy it in the inventory account. When you use the periodic system, you record it in the purchases account. And the purchases account is in the nominal account section because it is an expense. Any other expenses when inventory is purchased is recorded in a nominal account. For example, you will open an account for import duties, shipping fees, carriage on purchases, etc. All these expenses will be recorded in the inventory account when you use the perpetual inventory system. When inventory is returned, to the supplier, the entry is recorded in the creditor's allowances account. In the perpetual system, you don't have a creditor's allowances account. Both systems use a creditor's allowances journal. But when goods are returned using the perpetual inventory system, you will credit inventory. When you use the periodic system, you will credit creditor's allowances. When inventory is sold, no entry is made to record the cost of the item sold. So no cost of sales account is used when we record any entries when the periodic inventory system is used. The cost of sales will only be calculated at the end of the year doing a um, calculation to take the opening inventory plus purchases less closing inventory into account to determine what was the cost price of all the goods sold. So in this section that we've just done now, we determined what is the difference between periodic and perpetual. So in the periodic system, first of all, they don't use an inventory account. Secondly, they don't use a cost of sales account. Thirdly, they don't record inventory on hand, so they have to do an inventory count. They can never determine what is the inventory except doing an inventory count. All acquisitions of inventory is recorded in the purchases account, and any other expenses will be opened in nominal accounts when you buy goods. When inventory is returned, in the periodic system, you will record it in the creditor's allowances account. And no entry is recorded in the cost of sales account during the year. At the end of the year, you will do a calculation to determine what is the cost of sales. 
Differences between transactions when the periodic inventory system and the perpetual inventory system is used. When goods are sold, in the perpetual system we do two double entries. One double entry at sales price where you will debit debtors or bank and credit sales and the second double entry at cost price where cost of sales is debited and inventory is credited. In the periodic system, you only use one double entry for the sales of goods. No entry is recorded for the cost of sales. Purchases, when you buy goods in the perpetual system, you will debit your inventory account. In the periodic system, you will debit your purchases account. Returns to creditors. In the perpetual system, you will credit your inventory to reduce your asset with the amount that's returned. In the periodic system, you will credit creditors' allowances. So actually, this purchases account and creditors' allowances account is the expense, is purchases, and creditors' allowances is the amount that will reduce that expense. At the end of the financial year, creditors' allowances will be transferred to the purchaser's account so that you can determine what is the total cost for the year. Returns from debtors. In the perpetual system, you will record two double entries, one at sales price where debtors' allowances is debited and debtors' control is credited, and the second one for the cost price where inventory is debited and cost of sales is credited. In the periodic system, only one double entry for the sales price of the goods returned will be recorded. No entry will be recorded for the cost price of the goods. Carriage on purchases, import duties, shipping fees, any expenses that you pay when you buy the goods in the perpetual system will be recorded in the inventory account. Any expenses that you pay from the time that you buy until it's delivered to your premises will be recorded in the carriage on purchases account, that is a nominal account, import duties account, shipping fees account, etc. In the periodic system, there is no cost of sales account. At the end of the year, they will calculate the cost of sales using a formula. In the perpetual system, a cost of sales account is used during the year when the cost of sales is calculated every time when goods are sold or goods are returned by debtors. If we look at the transactions in the general journal, goods taken by the owner for his own use, in the perpetual system, we will show that the drawings account will be debited and because the goods were purchased with the purpose of selling the goods in the future, you debited inventory when you bought the goods. Now you have to show that that asset decreases and therefore you will credit the inventory account. In the periodic system, you will also debit drawings. But now you don't write in your inventory account. So when you bought the goods, you opened the account for purchases. And in the purchases account, you wrote the amount of all the goods that was purchased with the purpose of selling in the future. This purchases account is an expense for the business. If the owner takes goods for its own use, it means that we have to reduce this expense for the business because now they are not using those goods to make a profit. And therefore, you will credit the purchases account that will actually reduce your expense. If inventory is given for promotional purposes, so you take things out of your inventory for an advertising campaign, then you will debit advertising in the perpetual system and you will show that your asset for inventory decreases. When you use the periodic system, you will also debit advertising, but now I want to go and decrease the expense for purchases, so I will credit my purchases account. 
if you take inventory to use for stationery in the business, it means that you will debit stationery, credit purchases. Debit stationery, credit uh, inventory in the perpetual system. Inventory given as a donation, you debit donations and you credit purchases because you want to reduce the expense. In the perpetual system, you debit donation, but you credit inventory because you want to decrease the asset. What did we learn? When we use the perpetual inventory system, you use your inventory account and the cost of sales account during the year. Every time goods are purchased or sold, you will record it in the inventory account so that you can know exactly how much inventory is left over in the business. The cost of sales account will be used the whole year every time goods are sold or returned by debtors. In the periodic inventory system, no entries for cost of sales is recorded during the year. At the end of the year, a calculation will be done to determine the cost of sales. And no entries are recorded in the inventory account during the year. So the inventory account balance from the previous year will stay in that account up to the end of the current financial year. In the perpetual inventory system, you will complete an entry for inventory loss because you have to show that your inventory decreased as a result of a fire or a burglary or theft or broken goods or whatever. In the periodic inventory system, no entry is recorded for inventory loss because the closing inventory at the end of the financial year will automatically be lower, and if the closing inventory is lower, the cost price will increase. No creditors' allowances account will be used in the perpetual inventory system. In the periodic inventory system, they use a creditors' allowances account. Both systems use a creditors' allowances journal. But in the perpetual system, if goods are returned to the creditors, you will not put it in the creditors allowances account. You will show that the inventory asset decreases. In the periodic system, you are not allowed to write in the inventory account. Therefore, you will use this creditors allowances account to show that goods were returned to the suppliers.